Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to learn how to graph a circle. A circle general equation is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. What does that mean? Well, if we graph it out, if we put down an xy axis right here, so here's our y axis, there's our x axis, and r represents the radius of the circle, and let's assume for this case that the center of the circle is on the coordinate point, the xy coordinate point right here where the two axes cross, that would be the origin or the zero, zero point. All right, if that's the center of the circle, then the radius would be r. So if we draw a distance out away from the origin, call that r in the y direction, and we do the same in the x direction, call that r. We then go into the negative y direction, call that minus r, and the negative x direction, call that minus r. And if we now connect those four points, we have ourselves a circle with radius r. Just like that. Eh, kind of looks like a circle. All right, so here we place the origin at the center, and we know that the radius is r, so in any direction away from the origin, the distance would be r. So that direction, this direction, it doesn't matter. Any given direction, that always would be r. So what does that mean? Why do we come up with an equation that looks like that? Well, if we draw, for example, a line directly to the edge of the circle this way, and then we draw a line straight down this way, and then we draw a line straight down this way, we have ourselves a triangle. And of course, with a triangle, we know that the sum of the squares of the sides equal the square of the hypotenuse. So if we call this distance here r, and we call this distance here the x value of this point. So let's say this point has coordinates x and y, so the distance from the origin to this point is equal to x, the distance from the from the origin to that point is equal to y, and you can now see, so since we have a triangle, we can now write that x squared plus y squared equals the hypotenuse square, which then simply becomes the equation of a circle with the center at the origin. And that's why we can express it like that. So whenever we have something that looks kind of like that, for example, if we have um, x squared plus y squared equals 25, well, then we change it to this format right there. We take the square root of 25 and square that. So we can write this as x squared plus y squared equals 5 squared. So now we have a circle with the center at the origin and with the radius equal to 5. So if we want to graph that, it's going to look like this. Here's our y-axis. There's our x-axis. There's the center of the circle. And here's our circle. And notice, well, not quite a circle. Let me... Correct that just a little bit, too much of a bulge right there. There we go. You know that the value there is x equals 5, y equals 5, x equals minus 5, and y equals minus 5. And so that would be the circle that's the same as this equation right there that represents, is representative of that equation. And the radius in any direction would be 5. And that's how we graph a simple circle with the center at the origin.